All right, I'm not sure where I left off, but this has been sitting now for two weeks because I was waiting for the timing chain kit to get in. I did not take the power steering pump off, so this hose prevented me from taking the valve cover off easily, and I broke the timing chain guide. So now I'm gonna do a timing chain. Then we'll do the valve adjustment, and then we'll see if the misfire is fixed. If not, I don't even know. Okay. So, ran to Harbor Freight and got another breaker bar because this wasn't quite cutting it for me. So, let's give it a shot. Yeah. Oh, I got it. It always feels like you're about to break it when those things break loose. All that's left is actually taking the timing cover off, all the timing chain and component, all the old stuff, getting that out of there, putting the new stuff in, and throwing it all back together. After all of that, we're gonna do a valve adjustment like I originally wanted to. So, see you guys tomorrow. Okay, and this is a first for me. All right, I've never taken a timing chain off before. Now I've got to uh, get uh, get the oil pan off. So tomorrow, because I'm not doing it tonight, we will be trying to get this hoist from right there over here. So that might get interesting. We're gonna have to jack the car up. That would be the advantage of having a bigger garage. couple steps here
those back on. Now I need to move on to the valve adjustment. Once we do that, we can put the valve cover and everything back on and we might be able to test drive it today. back on and get some oil and then we'll be good for a test drive. I just took it for a test drive to get some uh, get some shots for an upcoming video and it seems to be running fine no check engine light no misfire everything's uh, seems to be running good <laughs> 